Though again, one often says one and one and one. That's a, that's a mistake. Plus means something distinct. It doesn't mean eating. It doesn't mean and. It means something which Frege, Frege, Frege builds in. In fact, if anything, you, you take one thing and another thing and another thing. That's how he explains it. And the word one drops out. It's got to do with quantifiers. So it's a subtle an, an analysis. But I can see why they, well, you, if you didn't have Frege, you could, you could you say, yeah, I can't repeat one fifth. I've already used one fifth. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm one one fifths. So uh, that's funny. Uh, and again, the between numeral and number, it, to me, is just basic. But in many conditions, uh, um, even, the, even there's some famous ones who make this mistake. Um, they have said, uh, they even said things like two can't really be one plus one. Because look, two is two. And look how different one plus one is. Well, yeah, they're numerals, but I mean, <laughs> Frege insisted that that really is an identity. Two really is. Many people want to say two is equivalent to one plus one, it's the same size as one plus one. Frege says, no, there's a number two, and it really is, under another description, one plus one. So two numerals and two senses in Frege's semantics, but one object named. Um, 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 a, a, a lot of clarifications of that. Um, um, um. Good. Well, I guess uh, we can thank uh, Pali Jurgrau for this very fascinating and wonderful uh, lecture and hope that mathematicians will profit from it. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.